So you think that email you're opening up is safe. After all, it was sent to you by a trusted source. But how can you tell if it really is safe to open and if the link inside does not pose a threat? Even if you look at a website and let's say it comes from what you think is your bank and it says click here and it'll say mybank.com so it look legitimate. If you click there, you'll get taken to a site that looks like your bank. And while you're on that site, any personal information you've previously entered on that computer could be stolen. This sort of crime is called phishing. Anything you click on in an email, links, ads, that online holiday greeting card could be trouble. What happens during this time of year is people, whenever there's an event that will trigger you to click on something, uh, that's most likely when you're going to see uh, these types of attacks. So avoid things that say Black Friday special that you, di that you didn't uh, uh, expect. Even items that seem to be sent from people you know, family, friends, colleagues, can be risky. They can harvest their uh, address book and then they'll send it out from their email address. Have we seen this sort of crime evolve? There's always been a, a transformation. As we get more defenses to it, we see different types of attack. And right but now, cyber expert Mark Rash says that doesn't mean you should stop defending yourself. Always verify requests for personal information. Be wary of attachments and animated greeting cards. If there's a website you want to go to, avoid the link. Instead, manually type the address and always be up to speed on financial and credit card information. Because even if they do all the right things, they may get attacked.